Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Channel 6 Let's Play. This is our star, Solomon, and this is his stone. We have his stone still and it's awesome. Anyway, so we're back to our Channel 6 Let's Play, guys. I'm enjoying this little account. I'm enjoying this Let's Play because it is just something different and it's it's fun. I'm enjoying myself. So last episode, we started our um, our first laboratory upgrade that was the Giants and now they are maxed out but between last episode and this episode I didn't do a lot I mean I might have done a couple of upgrades mainly with the new collector in mind but besides that really not a whole lot has happened in fact I did a little bit of research and it turns out that if you upgrade if you're using all five builders 24-7 the buildings will still take longer than the laboratory upgrades would if you kept this thing going 24-7. So it's interesting. Normally, like in, in most town halls, the laboratory takes longer than the buildings. But in Tunnel 6, that is not the case. In fact, Tunnel 6, if you keep all five builders busy, will take about 16 days roughly to max out. Now, it might take us a little bit longer since we're multitasking on the channel with multiple accounts. But for the most part, guys, this is going to be a rather quick series. And for those of you that are Tunnel 6s, it's going to be a rather quick experience for you before you get into Town Hall 7 and you can enjoy my Town Hall 7 Let's Play from before. So anyway, guys, let's just enjoy ourselves today, guys. I've got the Hogs in the Clan Castle, my recommended, my favorite CC for lower level play. And I've got my Barch, the cheapest elixir upgrade that there is. If you hop into my progress base, then you'll see that um, the... the I want to prioritize certain things. We desperately need to get some stuff done, including these camps. I want to actually start a boost and get as as much elixir and as many army camps upgraded today as possible. Obviously, we're going to pour our gold into the clan castle because that's the only major gold upgrade left. And, um, and, and then just get some work done, obviously, doing at the lab upgrade. I know it doesn't take as long as the regular buildings, but it's still my job to teach the priorities of upgrading a, a base. Regardless of your talent level, keep that lab running. That's no Number one priority so let's go let's find us a base and let's smash it again barch lovely lovely barch fantastic but what i'm going to show today specifically is how to use that cc set of hogs effectively so let me find a base and we'll wreck it together as always whoa okay wow guys two hundred thousand elixir that's really really good 100,000 is my minimum, and we luckily found this baby, and it is going to be glorious. All right, so here's how we're going to do this, all right? We're going to distract most of these defenses, and we're going to send our hogs directly into these mortars. The splash damage is your biggest enemy, and these wizard towers back here, they're really not going to do a whole lot, so we don't really need to prioritize them. I mostly want to get most of these collectors and mines and these storages, and the uh, the, the mortars out there are going to be our biggest Problem. So let me get all my barbarians in here, just like so. My archers in behind. I'll save um, a few. And now let's send our hogs in. Now, this is one of those situations where maybe having some some healing spells would be a good good plan, you know, for your hogs to keep them alive through the base. But I'm cheap, and I do things uh, as uh, cost-effectively as possible. And I don't think that with these max hogs, I really need those spells. I don't need to spend those spells. I can get pretty much all that I want out of, um, out of a base without using any spells. So, yeah, I mean, check it out, guys. The hog gets rid of the inside wizard tower. The arch is going to get rid of the outside wizard tower. Very nice. And that's going to be GG. I mean, all these archers should be able to take care of these two-point defenses that are left. So I say we go ahead and just get the archers started on this uh, clan castle. Also, oh, the arch tower goes down. Yeah, guys, this is going to be a three-star. There we go. Like I was saying, max hogs in the clan castle. And you can pretty much accomplish anything that you set your mind to. It is glorious. Um, and now it's going to come down to just a whole bunch of archers. One defense goes down. The air defense is useless against Barch. And now everything wants a corner building. Oh, I've got a bunch of corner buildings. Okay, I've only got two. I've got two corner buildings. Not that big of a deal. Uh, <laughs> most of these are going to go come back up here and start working on the wall and get that town hall. We got a few. We, got, we had what you call a lucky split, all right? One group's going to go take care of one thing. One group's going to go take care of the other. And this one's going to take care of that corner hut. These things are going to get come in here and get rid of this town hall. And it's going to take a fair amount of time. Not too bad. And... Three star! Yeah! Alright, guys. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Now, the loot was amazing. We almost maxed out our storages. So, without 
really, um, you know, skipping a lot of time. Let's actually spend a little bit of this loot. I've got a lot in my tra well, I've got a little bit in my tray. Let's go ahead and collect that. There we go. We've almost maxed out everything. So now let's spend a little bit of loot. Our, like I said, my the main priority for gold is actually going to be this uh, clan castle, 800,000 gold. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. It's going to give us five more capacity in our clan castle. It gets us to 20. Now we can hold dragons or maybe two baby dragons or an extra hog or whatever. It's a one-day upgrade, so it's absolutely worth it. And the best part is, while this baby's upgrading, we can still use it. So we can still have troops inside, unlike the barracks, which, while it's upgrading, you can't use it. The clan castle, you can. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. 800,000 gold in three, two, one. Bam! There we go. Probably should have done that one a long time ago, but now it is done and I'm satisfied. So, Clan Castle done. It is going to be maxed out. Now, let's spend a little bit of elixir and let's start with our laboratory upgrade, okay? And I'm thinking we go ahead and use the heal spell. I mean, I, like I said, I don't use them very often, but whenever you do, you want them to be effective. So, the more you upgrade them, the better they get at healing. And I do believe that level 2 is max, but... I, I can't say for sure because I didn't do the research. But level three may be a possibility. Uh, you guys will probably let me know in the comments. So let's do this, guys. 300,000 looks for three, two, one. Bam. Very good. All right. Now our laboratory is going. The laboratory stays here because there's more lab upgrades to do. But let's spend a little bit more elixir because we've get, still got almost max storages. And that elixir is going to be poured straight into our army camp. 750,000 elixir. Three day upgrade. This is the longest upgrade we've seen so far in a tunnel six let's play. And just like the Kalan castle, uh, we can still use this building while it's upgrading. So it's okay to get all of your army camps upgrading simultaneously because you can still use them while they upgrade. And it's going to add five more troop capacity. So right now, our total troop capacity is 135, 135 barbarians and archers. But if we upgrade all three, it gets us to 150. And that is a, I think that's, that's a greater than 10% increase in our offensive power which is amazing so let's go ahead and do this guys 750,000 elixir in three two one bam yeah all right cool so let's get this guy and let's bring him up here very very nice and now we've got three more builders now ideally two of those would go into these two army camps and the last one would go into the barracks but we'll just see how much loot we can get once i get a boost going so i'll be back once i find another base um or once i fill up loot Guys, here I am only 15 minutes into my boost and check out this insane base that I found. Uh, 569,000 elixir and almost that much gold. Ridiculous. And both of the wizard towers are sitting on the outside. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have uh, hogs in this attack. Otherwise, it would have been brutal because I would have dominated, sent my hogs right at that mortar. But that didn't happen, unfortunately. So we had to be a little bit, you know, strategic in deploying two separate groups of barbarians to pinch this mortar while it's distracted and try to take it out as quickly as possible. But mainly attack on this side because I need the elixir. So amazing, amazing base, guys. A tunnel seven, dead tunnel seven. I don't care if I win. I don't care if I get trophies. What I cared about was the loot. And dude, there was a lot of it. And look at this mortar about to go down. This thing is one-shotting my stuff, by the way. Like, that was brutal. So now, it is all about getting rid of these two archer towers. And then we'll have the entire southern half of this base cleared out. All of the elixir collectors and storages, except for, I think, this one. That one's a little bit far away. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to grab that. But unfortunately, we had some weird splits in our troops. And we weren't able to get this archer tower out here. But it is all right, guys, because we got over 450,000 elixir in a single attack, which really, and a lot of gold. I mean, I wasn't even aiming for the gold. I want the elixir for the everything, but, you know, we got really close. I mean, if that arch tower had gone down, then our archers could have probably gotten the town hall, all the elixir, the rest of the elixir, everything. It was amazing. It was a crazy base to find. And so I say we go ahead and spend a little bit of this loot. I've got enough to go ahead and start an army camp. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. 750,000 elixir once again in three two one bam very good all right let's move this baby over and then we've got two builders left all right two builders left and again i would like to use those on the camp and the barracks at the end of the episode or at least before the episode is over so let's spend all of our gold on the walls and all of the walls to level five are going to only cost seven hundred fifty thousand gold i've got nine hundred eighty seven thousand let's do this guys seven hundred fifty thousand gold in three two one bam 
There we go, guys. Now all of our walls are the same color. Now from this point forward, guys, if I end up getting near max gold, I'll just upgrade a few walls. I won't show you guys every single little upgrade. And if we get to almost max elixir storage again, because we find some miraculous bases, then I will start these things up. Uh, probably do uh, the barracks at the very end because I don't want to lock up my barracks and slow down my production. So I'll be right back. Loot is good, guys. And so is life. Okay, um, <laughs> just hit a, a Town Hall 7 again with hogs this time uh, and max my storages again. Um, how far along are we guys in this boost? I'm only 23 minutes from the end. Still in, in, the, in the one same boost. Look at my gems, it's insane boost. This loot has been insane guys. I mean, crazy. There's that, there's that massive uh, almost half a million there, but this is the one we just did. Let me show you the replay of this one. This one was definitely worth looking at. Look at this. Pause that. This is a spawn base, but it's not a very well put together spawn base because those special obstacles can spawn anywhere that's a two by two space, but that's only for like Christmas and stuff like that. No reason to worry about that in March. Anyway, so look at this base guys. 300 over 350,000 gold elixir. There's some dark elixir. I can't even keep dark elixir. I don't even have a storage for it. Um, it was amazing. And look at this. There's only two splash damages in this entire base. That's that mortar and there's that wizard tower. And I figured, you know what, attack on the side of the collectors, the elixir collectors, and I'll be all right. So I actually took out the corner buildings first, top and left. And then as soon as they go down, Barbarians! We'll go back down the 1x. So Barbarians, then Archers, and then I deploy my Hogs. And the idea was to get the Hogs in on the Mortar as quickly as possible. And the more uh, Barbarians and Archers that survive, the more likely we are to get all of the loot. Now, I didn't realize that I was going to 3-star this base. Uh, but check this out, guys. I mean, the Teslas stay busy on the Barbarians for long enough. We take out the Mortar, but the Teslas get wrecked by that. Then now two of the three Hogs. One hog goes down to the sweeper, then over to the cannon, then that one hog will take out that last wizard tower. And if you're in an attack like this, where you actually end up taking out all the splash damage, and you've still got a lot of barbarians and archers, like in this in this case, look at this. One max barbar, one max hog rider, not barbarian, one max hog rider takes out that last sp uh, splash damage. And because it's a dead base, it's got... You know, these tombstones hanging around everywhere. You can see those tombstones there. That's a pretty good indicator that all the traps are going to be set. There's no CC, and it's going to be a pretty easy three-star. And with this attack, I managed to max my storages again. So I figured, you know what? I'm a good steward of my loot. I want to show you guys how I spend it uh, throughout this entire process and this one single boost. So, um... My next army is already, that one's training up. Hopefully the background sound doesn't drive you too crazy. Uh, but let's uh, let's actually go spend the loot, shall we? So let's spend it on these walls. Let's just notch this out. That's too much. Uh, let's notch this one out, I guess. And, oh, perfect. Look at that. 1.2 million gold. We're going to do a ton of pink walls, guys. In three, two, one. Bam. Nice. We're completely broke of gold. That is amazing. And we can do our final camp. We're going to do all three camps under one boost, guys. That's crazy. Another 380 upgrade. 750,000 elixir in three, two, one. Bam. Nice, dude. Nice. All right. Let's go do another attack right quick. And wait. Oh, I'm out of gold. I don't have enough gold. Uh, Okay. Do I have enough gold now? I can only search like four times. All right. We have to attack a base. Uh, quickly. That's not quite what I want. That's not quite what I want. Ah, we're about to run out of gold. And then we can't search anymore. This is terrible. Okay, this one's not bad. Alright, let's attack this base. Um, and let's just try a spam. Uh, gold spam. Or gold spam. Barbarian spam. At least to get some gold so that we can keep searching. That's kind of my idea, right? Um, <laughs> and Oh, wow. No, there's a CC. That Valkyrie's gonna wreck her entire attack. Look at that one Valkyrie can take so many hits. They're insanely powerful, guys. That one Valkyrie is going to kill all of our troops, especially because they're not all focused on her at once. And then there's a wizard in behind. That That's actually a very smart defensive CC. If you're looking for a defensive CC, different defensive clan castle, I like baby dragons. But also, Valkyries are crazy strong. So once I have 2020 with my upgraded clan castle, I will likely ask for a baby dragon. And then I'll also ask for a Valkyrie that's 10 and 8, that's 18. And then I'll probably take two more archers or something like that. That will be my defensive CC. So we got enough gold to keep searching. So I'm going to keep searching. We're going to finish up this boost. And it, it's looking really good. Like we'll actually get that barracks done as well as more walls.
What guys, I found another half a million golden elixir base. Um, and usually in the first few seconds of a recording, my face cam freezes. So I tried to wait as long as I could, but I've got to start this attack guys. I want to get as much of this as I can. So let me just look at this right quick and determine where all the loot is. There's um, there's a dark elixir stores on the outside. That's worthless to us. Um, I, I guess we, oh, we can actually snipe a few of these uh, a few of these splash damages. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Okay, that's gonna help a lot. And actually, there's another one out here. That is wild. Why would they put their splash damage on the outside? That's super strange. All right, so let's just um, let's snipe all this, and then oh, this this used to be a tunnel six base, and they transitioned it to a tunnel seven. I I get it. Okay. Well, um, let's get rid of this mortar and the other mortar. There we go. And then there's only two splash damages left. They're in the middle there. So now what I will do is I'll use my barbarians and I'll use my archers. We're going to come from this angle. All right. And then we're going to get our hogs. And the hog is going to come from the bottom side to get that mortar as quickly as possible. Hopefully this little level 8 double cannon or whatever, whatever level that is does not kill us. We need to make sure we get rid of the mortar. Yes, and the wizard tower. As long as we get rid of the wizard tower, we're good to go. Go, 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 hogs. You got this, guys. Come on, hogs. Come on, hogs. Come on, hog. Oh, there's only one. Come on, hog. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. This was good. All the hogs are dead now. But now, it's okay. We have only point defenses versus a bunch of little troops. And this is good. We've got a good spread, actually, because we've got all the elixir but what's over here. And most of our troops spread er, split to the left. So, this is great. Barbarians are... There's not very many, but the barbarians are doing the tanking. The archers in behind. And if our uh, barbarians and archers can take out this archer tower here, then we should be in okay shape. Barbarians, I need you to step up a little bit, guys. Step up and distract this archer tower. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Take out the arch tower. Get it. Oh, man. Nope. It's not going to work. Dang. We didn't get it. This is the second time we didn't quite get all the half a million. But that was a lot of loot. 365,000 elixir. That's enough for a thousand day, right? That's crazy. In a, in a full gear is what I mean. That was insane. All right. I, I just had to show you guys that attack, guys. I think that our boost is... I still have 13 minutes. Are you kidding me? Holy moly. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep, uh, I, I'll be right. I'll be right back. <laughs> what guys? I <laughs> just maxed my elixir again in a single boost. I'm loving this guys. I'm loving this. This is insane. I've got, uh, just a couple of minutes left in my final boost, but I can't really wait because I've maxed my elixir again. So I guess we need to go ahead and upgrade one of these barracks, 700,000 elixir. But before we do that, we need to spend the rest of our gold. And I, I, I'm going to have to guess about how many to do a million gold here. Let's do one more. No, let's do uh, two more. Yeah, there we go. No, no. Yeah, let's do that many. Okay, 975,000 gold in three, two, one. Bam! Oh man, dude, we've we've done so many walls in one day. This is just crazy. All right, let's do this barracks, guys. 700. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to say, you sure you want to end the boost, but I forgot that's only heroes. All right, well, we got a barracks upgraded, and that is the final upgrade of the uh, video, but I've still got one more barch army. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll do it live, and we're going to wrap this up. This has been such an incredibly beneficial day, and it's only, and I have like no gems left. I just realized that. Wow, guys. So. It has been a long episode, or at least it feels like it's been long since I've been kind of boosting on this account for the last hour. And I thought it would be appropriate to do the final attack on a tunnel six. It's a max six, by the way, all pink walls. And I don't have hog riders. So we're just gonna beast this thing out. So using four fingers, we'll just attack on the elixir side. I, I don't have my hog riders to kind of send in and save the day. So we're definitely not going to three star, but I figured still prioritizing elixir would be a good idea. So uh, barbarians, archers doing great. Little spring trap sending stuff everywhere. It's terrible. And ooh, I I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get that second. Um, obviously, we're going to get the external elixir storage, but are we going to get this one? Actually, yeah. Okay, barbarians broke in. Very nice. All right, but no archers followed behind. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go, guys. Yeah, the mortars are going to wreck my barbarians in the middle. We've still got some archers, though. They might grab the elixir out of this storage. We're not going to get that town hall, but we did win the attack, so that works out really nicely. 
that's like um, normally my barge is all around the base but for certain times like this I like to just kind of spam them on one side to break in and, and uh, prioritize a certain side so there we go 150,000 elixir and now we're gonna finish off this episode with over 650,000 elixir in our storage and actually if we win this war in 19 minutes I gain another Half a million elixir looks like it's going to be a close one, a, a good war. So very, very exciting, guys. Um, and we, we got a lot done. I mean, we got a ton done. We have no more builders left. There's literally nothing we can do. But we got all three of these army camps started in the same episode. We also did the clan castle and the barracks. This has been a fabulous episode, guys. And by the way, just a side note, I did do a little research. And it turns out that you can upgrade the healing spell to level three as a tunnel six. And so... Between episodes, I will be finishing this level 2 healing spell upgrade and starting episode, uh, uh, level 3 so that it gives me a couple of days in between episodes. In fact, I may wait three days until I do the next episode because then we'll have all of our camps and all of our builders available once again. So, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe and join the class family for daily gaming videos if you have not done so already. Uh, you know you want to. Guys, I love each and every one of you and as always, I will see you all again next time. Thank <laughs> you.